Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, August 30th, 2021. All right, let's get started. One across Mongolian Desert. Hmm, I think that might be the Gobi Desert. Yeah, let's see if we can confirm that on some of these downs here. Develop a chrome dome. If you have a chrome dome, you're bald, right? So if you're developing a chrome dome, you would go bald? Yeah, okay. Start of a Juliet soliloquy. Uh, is it O Romeo? Those letters look pretty good. Mississippi City on the Gulf of Mexico. Is it Biloxi? Hmm. I'm not sure how to spell that. I'm just gonna give it my best guess. Biloxi? <laughs> Let's see if we can maybe correct some of those errors if I didn't get that quite right. Either separately, blank combination. I think this should be either separately or in combination. So I did make at least one error in Biloxi. Um, I don't know if this is an O either. Hmm. Leave in a hurry could be Bolt. Okay, that means the L was right at least. Winged Cupids in Art. Um, hmm. Is it Amours? Could Amour be another word for Cupid? And it has to be Amours plural because it's Cupid's plural in the clue. That could be. Let's see if this X is correct here. Home of the University of Kentucky. Well, there's a Lexington, Kentucky, right? Okay, that seems pretty good. Why are you telling me this? And this clue has quotes around it. That means we need to come up with an equivalent phrase for why are you telling me this? So maybe it's do I care? Yeah, it's kind of a similar meaning. You're not really interested in whatever the person is trying to tell you, right? Okay, so we only got one letter off on Biloxi. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of us for getting that close. Okay. Complexity. That seems like it should be intricacy, right? Yeah, intricacy is complexity. Sarcastic criticism. Maybe that's snark. If you're being snarky, you're being pretty ironically critical, right? Coach Parsegian in Notre Dame history. Or maybe, I guess it would be Notre Dame because this is not talking about the church, right? This is talking about the college. Um, it looks like it has to be Ari. Um, you know, if it's a first name, it could be Art, but then looking at these letters, G, R, or T would be really bad. So I think we can probably safely put in Ari Parsegian. Yeah. And then gets hold of. Hmm. Gets hold of. It feels like it should be grips, doesn't it? Interesting. I don't feel like we've come across a theme answer as of yet either. Hmm. Let's take a look at this big, long across in the center here. Finishes eating ice cream or soup, say. Um, I guess in both of those cases, as long as you were eating ice cream out of a bowl, you could lick. No, it has to be licks because it's finishes. Licks the bowls, plural, maybe? Hmm. No, it really shouldn't be plural, I don't think. Because it's asking or soup. So, hmm, it's in present tense because it finishes, but then it does ask ice cream or soup, so it shouldn't be plural. Hmm, that is really interesting. Well, I like licks at least, let's keep that. I don't know about the end of it. And then that gives us G-R-I-S. Hmm, maybe it's not Ari. Maybe it's Ara. I have not really heard of that as a name, but then this could be Grasps, right? 
Yeah, so maybe it's Aura Parsegian. Okay. Interesting. Something that might pop into your head that could be an idea. Bird on the Canadian dollar. That's definitely a loon. That's why they call them loonies. Word before language or temperature. Body language? Body temperature? Yeah. End of a shoe could be a toe. First K-pop group to have a number one billboard hit. That's got to be BTS. They are such a phenomenon. Okay. Escargot. That is snail if you're in France. Um, grad. That could be an alum, right? You'd be an alumnus if you went to a school. Um, this is a good opportunity to talk about abbreviations. If there's an abbreviation in the clue, this is grad instead of graduate. That means the answer needs to be abbreviated also. So that gives us alum instead of alumnus. Yeah, or alumna. Yep, you gotta be consistent with your abbreviations from clue to answer. Means of communication in a quiet place in brief. That's gotta be American Sign Language. One running for office for short. That could be a Paul, short for politician. Opposite of a freeway. Well, I guess it would be a road you would have to pay for. Maybe that would be a toll road. Okay. It is looking like it might be Lix the though. Calder Cup Rink Org. The Calder Cup is... That's not the NHL. The NHL is the Stanley Cup. I believe the Calder Cup is the AHL. That's like the minor league hockey league. This is a pretty hard Monday, <laughs> I have to say. It's got Biloxi. It's got this tricky AHL clue. Um, yeah, I know that because I grew up in Rochester, New York, and we didn't have a professional hockey team. Well, we did, but it was a minor league hockey team. It was the Rochester Amherst, and they were always in contention for the Calder Cup as opposed to the Stanley Cup. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we could probably safely put in the E here. I still don't know how it's going to end. The A of AKQJ. AKQJ? What an interesting string of letters here. I don't know what this stands for. I've never seen these together like that. Interesting. Show friendliness despite ill feeling. Hmm. Is that play nice? Oh, okay. I think I have an idea. This is ace, king, queen, jack, right? This is playing cards. I don't think I've ever seen them represented in that way. That was a little tough to see. It's nice though. It's kind of nice and tricky for a Monday. Fury could be ire. That's anger, right? Right hand page of a book. Oh my god. Uh, I believe that's recto, if you're talking about like publishing jargon. Or yeah, like librarian jargon or something. Yeah. Um, what was the left side? It's like Sinestro or something like that, I think. <laughs> um... Okay, enter as a foyer. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure. As you would into a foyer. Interesting. Barely any as food or drink. Hmm. Eggplant blank, cheesy dish informally. Shouldn't that be eggplant parm? Maybe it's not play nice. Maybe that's why we're having trouble. Uh, yeah. And then this is make nice instead of play nice. Okay. So does that help? Um, with enter as a foyer. Yeah, maybe it's step in. Um, barely any as food or drink. A taste? If you had a taste of something, you just had a little bit? Hmm. A friend could be a pal. Plagued. Maybe that's eight at? Yeah. Doesn't have fortitude. 
Well, this should be lax something. It's not lax courage, right? That would be too long. Hmm. Look at this. Lax lex licks. <laughs> I'm starting to see a pattern here. It seems like we've got kind of a L C K S with a rotating vowel sound in the middle. Lax lex licks. Yeah. Okay. I think we might have just tripped over the Monday theme here. Uh, I still don't know how this is going to end. Where everything's a buzz, that should be a hive, right? Like a beehive. Um, maybe it's lax honor? Fortitude. I don't know. Honor and fortitude. I don't know if they're like exactly the right kind of genre of attributes, but let's keep moving and see if honor is right. Setting for a rock concert? Yeah, that should be an arena. That's good. I'm glad it's not honor. Um, hmm. Blanca Vera should be Aloe Vera. Wander could be Rome. Okay, maybe we can build down and figure out what a person that doesn't have fortitude lacks. Hawaii's Mauna Blank. That's Mauna Loa. That's a volcano. Rower's Implement is an ore. Oh, it's Lax Heart. Yes, that's much better. And then a CPR Pro should be an EMT. Again, here we've got an abbreviation in the clue and the answer is abbreviated also, emergency medical technician. Okay, a long time name on Wheel of Fortune. That's definitely Vanna, Vanna White. Roman emperor who succeeded his adoptive father. I believe that was Nero. Tandor bread. We have an N already and so we know that it's non. Sometimes that could be roti also when you're asked to give a uh, bread that's in Indian cooking. It's sometimes tough if you don't have any crossing because it could either be non or roti. Yeah, so it helps to have at least one letter filled in so you know which one you're looking for. Big part of a dachshund. Um, that would be an ear. They have very droopy ears, right? Um, grade school class with crayons. That's got to be art. That was my favorite class in grade school. Sorority's counterpart informally. That's a fraternity, but it's informally, so it's just frat. One who might have a contract with a sandal manufacturer. A sandal manufacturer? Hmm. What an interesting clue. So it would be someone that wants a lot of sandals? Would it be like a cruise line, maybe? Or like a resort? I don't know. That's a very interesting clue. Hunt for again? Could that be relook? No. This is licks the spoon. You know what? That's a little better because you don't always eat ice cream out of a bowl. Sometimes it's in like a cup or a cone. But a lot of the time you eat it with a spoon. You still don't always eat ice cream with a spoon, but I still think spoon is a better answer here. Nice. Okay. Licks the spoon and it's singular, just how we wanted. That's the nice thing about being very careful about the hints that are in the clues. Because I knew it said ice cream or soup, I knew we were looking for a singular end to this answer. If it had been ice cream and soup, um, then it could have been licks the bowls, plural. Yeah, but that's why it's super helpful to be kind of aware of those little hints that the clues are giving you. Um, so what could this be then? Hunt for again? Reseek? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard anyone say reseek in conversation, but it does sort of make a bit of logical sense. Suffix with cyto or proto? Is it plasm? Yeah, I've heard of cytoplasm and protoplasm. Okay. Xanadu group? Uh, is it yellow? Xanadu. Yeah, isn't that like a musical? Is it a musical with yellow music in it? I don't know. Uh, oh, is it just a foot something? It's not Foot Locker, right? Okay, so we have Lax Lex Licks. 
So we need, I think if this puzzle is gonna use every vowel sound, we should end up with lox and lux for our last two because those are the two vowels we haven't used yet, right? Let's see if we can use that information to our advantage here. Rescuer for when you've lost your key. Yeah, that's gonna be a locksmith. Excellent. And then this should start with luck, right? Lux, actually, because it always has that S sound. Lux. Hmm. I wonder what that's going to be. Tiny neighbor of France. Okay. That's going to be Lux in Borg. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's that tiny little country next to France. Okay. I love when you can use information that you've gleaned from previous theme answers to fill out subsequent theme answers. That's just great. That makes solving the theme so much more rewarding. All right, now we just need to clean up the bottom here. Voyage by boat? Is it just a sea trip? Yeah, I guess so. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what this is gonna be. Huh. Mix of coffee and chocolate? That's called mocha, right? Swiss cough drop brand, that's Ricola. Need after a computer crash informally. Is it just IT help? Yeah, that's like information technology help. Usually there's an IT team at your company. Okay, new moon, full moon, and others. Those are examples of phases of the moon, right? And because they asked and others, that means they're looking for this plural answer phases. Okay, performs could be does. She in French? Is that L? Hmm. Is it a foot model? Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. It would be like the sandal manufacturer has a contract with the foot model. Okay, I was thinking of it the other way around. That's why it was so hard to see. Okay, and then that gives us units in track or swimming is laps. Excellent, okay. Player making a basket or a goal? I guess that could be a scorer. Yeah, sometimes you just need to think of the most general word that would fit for a clue. Yeah. Female flower parts. Huh. I don't know if I know this one. Hmm. Yeah, let's get some crossing help. Error of Family Feud reruns. That's got to be the Game Show Network, I think. Wild actress Laura. Yeah, that's Laura Dern. Dr. Sattler. Love Laura Dern. Um, seats at a hoedown. Those are bales, right? Like bales of hay. Is this an ovule? Hmm, maybe. Jose Blanc tequila brand. Yeah, that's Jose Cuervo, right? Okay, I guess it is ovule. Flow out is ebb. Yeah, like the tide would ebb out during certain phases of the moon. Some frozen drinks are ices. Letters between news and Omicrons. Um, I think, is this Zyze? Uh, is it Z-I-S? I actually don't know. Um, it might be. New England State School. Uh, Rhode Island is in New England. That could be the University of Rhode Island, maybe. Buffalo's Lake is Lake Erie, yeah. And then deliver a burn to could be dis, right? Like disrespect. And a burn is kind of like slang. So we get this kind of slangy dis as our answer here. Okay. And then that leaves us with headed. Yeah. Like if you led an expedition or something. Excellent. All right. Let's see if that does it for us. Monday in 21. Not a great time, but I think we were going over some good solving strategies, which this puzzle accorded us a number of, so I'm very happy about that. And it had a really nice theme too. Lax, Lex, Lix, Lox, and Lux. Very nice. Yeah, that's kind of the perfect Monday theme. It's just sort of pointing out that there's a bunch of phrases that have a similar sound at the beginning of them. If you swap just one vowel sound out, yeah. I love it. And I liked that two of them had an X in them. Yeah, Lexington and Luxembourg. Very nice. 
And of course, like I said, being able to use that knowledge to fill in the last two theme answers with not too much crossing help was very satisfying. Um, this Monday actually played a little bit harder than usual. I mean, it wasn't crazy hard or anything, but I kind of liked the little bit of extra challenge we had. Avule was kind of a little bit of a arcane term. Um, Biloxi, I don't know if tons of people have heard of Biloxi. Recto is also a little bit abstruse. Um, and then Ace, yeah, this AKQJ, I don't know. That was new to me. I guess probably a lot of you out there knew exactly what that was talking about. And this AHL clue was pretty tricky too. This felt a little bit like a later week kind of clue pointing to minor league hockey instead of major league hockey, yeah. All right, I don't think anyone can say we lacked heart during that solve. I think we showed plenty of fortitude. I hope you enjoyed solving that Monday puzzle along with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle, and I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. Thank you.